Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Enhance your blogging insights in 2023 by connecting Google Analytics to your blogger platform. This tutorial provides step-by-step -step guidance to help you track user data, understand your audience and optimize your blog performance. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So. Guys, let's start by creating the basics. We have Google Analytics and we need the blogger. So let's go with Google Analytics first. So the first thing is open your browser, which is gonna be probably Google Chrome. Go to Google and you will find your account here and then you will find these Google apps next to it. Search all the way down and you will find all the tools that you will need. Starting from blogger, here it is. So you can click on it and it will open as you can see. And we need Google Analytics. You might not for them, find them, so you can click on f more from Google and you will find all the apps that you might need. So if you didn't find it here, simply just search for Google Analytics and there you should have it. So Google Analytics Academy. And the next thing is to simply log into this page. As you can see, it's very easy and very straightforward. So get started and this is like how you can start into it etc etc uh, but for us you simply just need to go to googleanalytics.com let me just fix that and there we go so now start measuring and here we should give an account name so titan ltd then here let's click on this one click on next here property name for example same thing type to LTD and then click on next here for the business we can just choose business and distro you can choose autos you can choose finance so you can choose whatever you want so for now let's choose a small uh, generate leads analyze visitor mechanism so what do you want exactly from the objective of using analytics so for example you can choose everything of these or just choose the ones that you are interested in for example I want to analyze visitor metrics and attract new customers and spread the word about your business and learn how people use your site or app and then click on create i also accept go all the way down accept i accept and then by the end you should choose your platform so for now we are going to go with web and here simply you should add your web for now we are going to keep it in this page and then swap into blogger for blogger, basically all you need to do is to create a new blog, give it a title, and then give it a blogs or a domain name. So address, address domain xd. So now let's click on save, and this is going to be our domain name for now. Click on view blog, copy this, paste it over here, and let's remove that one, and let's name it as my website. Here I'm going to create stream and just wait. So data collection isn't active for your website. If you install tags, let me just remove that. Uh, okay, so as you can see, these are the tags that we have to add to our website. So all you need to do is to copy this and place it immediately after the element, uh, the head element. So simply just go here, go to your theme then go to customize and then click on edit html after the first head that you might find as you can see here click on enter paste it and go back save and then go back to analytics and let's just refresh the page let's just wait and now we should just fill this fa uh, fast enough so let's go here next small finance next uh, these three as I remember create I accept I accept and then uh, next here we're just going to go fast to copy this link once more so here it is name it whatever create stream and there we have it so now uh, the problem is it can be not found but it's just because I have just 
uh, opened my website and there is no visitors at the moment that's why it is so showing me these problems but in general for you you have a good domain name you don't have a blogger address as you can see here you will have a pretty decent stream name and at the same time everything here will be looking good for you so you will not face the same problems that I'm facing since basically your website is more efficient than mine my website is just has been created in this tutorial like two minutes ago so that is why they are not even accepting it in Google Analytics but yeah this is how you can basically connect Google Analytics with your blogger site now there is other ways to connect them both together basically you could use Zapier um, simply what you could do is to create a Zap simply click on create Zap button through here and then the next thing is to simply uh, just tell it to integrate blogger with Google analytics and then click on generate and see if it is going to help you do that so basically Zapier is an automation uh, platform so let's check if it's gonna make it so yeah track blogger posts with Google Analytics they have Google Analytics but they don't have blogger as it seems so let's try to change that with blog let me just click here here we go uh, let's you can test first like before you get into the website sorry guys to check which app do they accept so you can go to apps through here and through that way you can search for Google and you will find all Google uh, documents or apps you can search for blog and you can find some blogs that can help you with but as you can see they don't really accept blogger on Zapier so what you have to do basically is to upgrade your plan and get the professional plan because with the professional plan you can add one custom app to your profile or to your account so with this one professional plan you can get one one custom logic with path and a limited premium app so you can get the access to all the exclusive apps and also you can get a custom logic with pass so you can actually get to ask the support to add for you a custom app to your account with that you can connect both blogger to Google Analytics but this is not very efficient as you might see guys uh, like as you can see here there is no data received in the past 48 hours so yeah you just have to get at least some data in the last 48 hours so your websites can be more shown in the the google analytics and just like that you will be able to see your website working without any problems so now as you could see uh, this is the page of google analytics this is how it's supposed to be here you will see all the visitors conversions new users uh, the amount of visits that you have seen in 77 last day 28 days 90 days so yeah this is basically how it does work and that's that's it that's what was about for today's video um, I showed you how to basically connect blogger into Google Analytics very easily there is two method using either Zapier or connecting it directly through the Google Analytics account so yeah guys that was it for today's video if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye